Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel, T Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a read for my lovely, my cha 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 my lovely Gemini's. What's going on, Gemini? Hi, hi, family, cross the wall chair. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Sending everybody, as always, and a pleasure to do so. Love, light, and healing vibes. I do hope everybody's having a good day. If not a fantastic day, it's what you make of it and what vibration that you choose to resonate in. Because in my opinion, I mean, sometimes I, I, I guess it is, it depends on how far you develop. You know, happiness is a choice and anger and mad and jealousy is a choice too. But sometimes some people are, anyway, I'm not going to get into all that, but welcome. <laughs> Think what I was going to say, say it, you know, um... Jealousy, some people can't help it. And some people can't help their happiness. So no matter what you do to somebody, they're always going to be happy. And no matter what you do to try to please somebody, somebody's always going to be mad and or jealous. Okay? But anyway, I appreciate everybody being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for all your love, your participation, your subscribes, your donations, and everything. Um, keep in mind, it's a general message. It will not resonate with everybody, nobody, somebody. We don't know. Take what fits for you in your life and what's going on. If it should happen to resonate, now take in mind that energy is fluid. This could be the past, present, or the future, okay? And it's fluid. So it doesn't matter it's male or female. You take the energy. Now, if I say she or he or them or they or however those pronouns go, baby, you take that energy and put it where it needs to be, okay? I can only read for so many or so much or whatever because everybody's going through different situations. So keep an open mind, please. Thank you. Choir, come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective. T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective. T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective. Check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay! All right. Okay, I've been I've been hearing, but it, that's karma though. So choose wisely. And I've been asking Spirit, what does that mean? And so I started to shuffle a little bit. We're going to be using the Light Seers Tarot. And there's some type of emperor who's possibly going through karma because of the games that they've played. Let me tell y'all something. You have to be very grounded when you do go into the ethereal realm or start tapping into Spirit. You've got to be grounded because Spirit is a high vibe. Now, when you tap into high vibe, okay, you got to be in that same energy of high vibrational when you tap into the most high okay somebody's been tapping into some shit that they don't have no business tapping into and now they have anxiety that's what i'm getting there's a lot of anxiety coming from this emperor because could maybe because you close out a cycle possibly gemini or there's been an ending with an emperor or there's endings with an emperor child something ended with an emperor they done fucked up some shit until the point in the universe then closed out some shit for them. And now they got to go through a whole nother route because they've been tapping in and playing around in your energy, Gemini, whoever this masculine or feminine energy is. The emperor could be a male or female, you know, it just represents masculine energy. So feminine could be embodying the emperor or vice versa. Okay, over the empress. Okay, they're having, <laughs> they want to call you back, baby, come back. But I feel like this energy, whoever this mature, because the emperors are mature. They own their own businesses, their boss daddy, boss mommy, or whatever. So I'm getting two, two emperors. One emperor is a ghost. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm sorry. They're like, we don't know what it is. Because one emperor is a go-getter and successful that you ended the cycle with. Okay? They're reminiscing of the past. They feel left out in the cold. They want to move forward. With you, they realize now you're their world and they just can't stop thinking about you or whatever the case may be. And then there's another emperor. It could be three emperors, but I'm just picking up two right now. And the other emperor is having nostalgic memories and feelings. And this older emperor, I mean, they could be an older gentleman. 
you know, and that's why the emperor is showing up. But they could be an emperor who's imbalanced and possibly having financial issues or whatever. And that emperor backstabbed and betrayed you. And this was your karmic twin flame. That's what spirit said. You could be an interracial couple. Don't have to be. But this masculine now. Okay, so I'm picking up the, the, the five of pentacles emperor. And it's like, how is the emperor going to be five of pentacles? But he is. Okay, he wants to come off. He was playing too many games with you and you close the cycle on his ass, move forward with your life with the two of wands energy and became this wonderful empress. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Okay, and now because you're in this empress, beautiful, glowing, growing, some of y'all could be pregnant. Some of y'all, um, you left the emperor who left you out in the cold and ended the cycle with you with child. And now they're realizing like, oh my God, but you, that didn't stop you. You still became successful in your own right as the empress, okay? Very loving, kind, compassionate, nurturing. But this older gentleman, this poor five of pentacles gentleman, they played way too many games. And they act extremely childish. So it's kind of frustrating to be with this type of energy when, you, when they should be excelling in life a little bit better. But now they... Oh, this person has... Oh, my God. Anyway, they got... Look, they, this is why I'm feeling heavy. Look! They under judgment and they're going through heavy burdens and endings in their life. Because they see you, the wish fulfillment, like, damn, Gina, I should have, should have, would have, could have, but I didn't. And now you're guarded and blocked off. Your heart chakra's blocked off. You ain't looking at them, honey. Your chakras are fully aligned. And now you're just focused on God at this point. You're, yeah, your solar plex chakra's lit. You're extremely grounded and balanced and you're protected. You're in a glass bubble. You should, you, some of y'all could be in hermit mode, but I know this person's trying to energetically tap into your energy and they, they can't get in. You see the bubble around you. They just can't get in. Oh, and that's why they have an anxiety attacks and shit because whatever energy that they're sending back and God was like, bitch, you can't be breaking into nobody's energy and shit. You don't even have permission. Cause look, you like no access denied. <laughs> This person doesn't have permission. They need permission. There is rules and regulations to this thing. You understand? So now they're looking at you like, oh, you're my wish fulfillment. They're praying down to their God, child, and they done did some shit. Well, they're having financial problems that I know of for sure. And they want to offer this Ace of Cups of love to you, baby. But they're, this man's going to think, I don't know, he's going to try to, I don't know, they're doing something too fast or they rush in or they're angry that you're moving forward or you're getting the spotlight somewhere. Because when I see this six of wands, you see the spotlight. You're under some type of spotlight or on a platform. You're getting celebrated and people love you and it's like a yes. And some of y'all look real cute with your little skirts and stuff. Looking all professional, cute and sexy and everything. Mm hmm I like y'all skirt and your sandals. It's very professional. That's what I'm getting. Very professional. And this person sees you on stage, too. And they see you getting acclimates and like, oh, my God. And they could be drinking heavily a little bit because I'm getting this emperor is not in a good energy. This older gentleman, they're letting, I keep, she keeps on passing me by. But I don't feel like you're just passing them by. I feel like they're in balance and they can't make up their mind about you. But now that they see you in front of some type of, I don't know, this person, I'm getting a jealousy from them. They don't like you being seen or showing your legs or <laughs> look how you showing your legs, Gemini. They don't like you showing your legs and there's nothing wrong with your legs, showing your legs or a little cleavy. Okay. Or your little belly, uh, my men's is your little chest and stuff, as long as it's, you know, respectable. Yeah, they're losing their mind right now. Look at them. Oh, my God. Why are you doing? They're mad. Okay, that's what they're not. So somebody see you on, I don't know where they see you on your platform or you, they see you somewhere that's wish fulfillment and they see you showing some skin and they don't like that skin that you're showing. Okay, we're getting back to this King of Pentacles Emperor energy. So we're going to the man with money now. The one that has his own business establishment. Him. Him want to come move you in. Him want to marry you. He says, let's get married. Okay, I'm sorry. And I want to make it work. What Phil? We're going to see what Phil. He, he, he's sorry and he wants to make it work. He wants to give you a love offer. 
He possibly wants to take you out for lunch or some wine or a picnic. Something like a little romantic. Okay, hold on. Let me see this card. That fail, y'all. Oh, sorry. Not sorry. Yeah, he wants to take a leap of faith. He's like, his angels and her spirit guides are leading him or her to take a leap of faith and take a risk. But this emperor is kind of worried because you're not looking, you're not even paying this emperor no attention. But they're looking at you as wish fulfillment, so they praying for you too. And they want to come and marry you and get and have a baby with you? Oh, that's too much. Is this spirit? Spirit saying, no, they love you. They have a lot of emotion for you right now, but they're holding back their emotions because... They see you on the worldwide stage too some way. Yeah, we got the world twice with this two of wands. The world is right here. This person wants to come and travel to you. Okay, they want to take some action to make you their empress. Emperor, empress. Definitely. And they're also having nostalgic memories. And So this could be an interracial couple. Whoever you are, you date out of your race. You don't have to. Or ethnicity or whatever that may be. But there is... Someone has melon and someone does has less melon, okay? I'm not going to say they ain't got none. And some of y'all ain't got none melon. This man over here, there could be a same-sex couple right here, too, with the rainbow. Reading rainbow. And I'm also getting this poor emperor. Oh. What's well, the truth? What I'm going to say. Now, this poor emperor, and y'all already know, honey, he's a male... He has SEX for money, and he's still broke and, and, and broken and imbalanced and everything, child. And he, so he's feeling backstabbed and betrayed and imbalanced because he got to get his boom, boom, give up the boom, boom, or she got to give up the poom, poom. But I'm getting more of a masculine embarrassed or feeling some kind of way, hell really, burden. He, they only got one pinnacle, child. They got, they, they ain't five of pinnacles, and they got one pinnacle, and here you are, Six of Wands, Energy, Nine of Cups. And now they feel backstabbed and betrayed. So it's kind of hard. I don't, ooh, wait. Okay, I'm going to get out of that energy because that's a, this is a depressive. Whoever this poor masculine is, older gentleman, you know, who you're guarded against. It's like you got this, you're the Seven of Wands with, with them. And you're listening to your ancestors and they're telling you to stay away. But they're on their knees praying. So if somebody's praying for something the opposite of what you want. And see, it needs to be, it needs to resonate on the same frequency. So I'm not worried about this poor emperor trying to come back, okay? Because they're not going to get through. It needs to be an energetic match. Anywho, back to the emperor at hand. This other emperor want to take a leap of faith with you. So why did it, why, why, why stop this emperor from, what happened between Gemini High Vibe and this other emperor that is a business owner? Gemini, oh, did they, um... The air cuts is on the side. So I feel like maybe, I don't feel, I think this emperor wanted you to chase them. They are a little smuggy. Yeah, this emperor is a little smuggy, okay? He, he's in his ego with the six of wands. They lack a lot of attention. And I guess you were supposed to chase them. So what, what happened for him? Why this man want the empress to chase this emperor? What happened being manipulative? Very manipulative. Okay, so what's he's an ego. It is ego. He, okay, so then I'm picking up this could possibly be a twin flame energy, and then the other person could be a karmic because they're too low vibrational, and I don't even want to tap into that right now. So what's this emperor energy? He oh, he didn't take a leap of faith with you. He was supposed to, he didn't listen to his intuition with the fool in reverse. Oh my god. And left you to be single, self-sufficient, abundant, and all of that. And that's who you were the whole time, right up under the star. And now you're blocked towards this energy, possibly, because why is Gemini blocked towards this energy? Because this emperor wants to make you his queen of pentacles. Because the king of pentacles did show up, the emperor showed up, the queen of pentacles showed up, and then the king of pentacles showed up before I shuffled it back in. So this is your... Carmen, I mean, not, I'm sorry, it's not, ooh, you raggedy ass bastard. The other, end, okay, so somebody's in competition. Somebody's doing magic or work somewhere. I don't know. I just feel that energy. And one person's under judgment and has anxiety for tapping into your energy. And then the other person, they have anxiety because they want to be with you. 
but maybe you close out a cycle or there's something that they're seeing online. They see your success online and they feel that you're guarded and blocked against this person because something that you're saying or doing or whatever that you don't want to take a leap of faith. And this emperor is scared and he on his knees praying, Jesus, please, please let the judgment go in my favor. So he's doing magic too. Jesus Christ, man, look, he trying to do magic to bring y'all together to make you his queen. See, this man just needs to step. So he's, I'm hearing coward, and I don't like that. Now, he was getting up to a good start, emperor. Emperor with the job. <laughs> mm-hmm. Keep doing some magic, bitch, to bring you justice. Could be a Libra or a Gemini trying to bring you in. Somebody trying to bring you in, okay? They holding on to you. They're doing some type of magic with the four of pentacles, okay, to bring justice to, to you guys together to bring you together. And I see the Ace of Cups tried to fly out under that right after that because this person looks at you as wish fulfillment. The one, they feel like they can be emotionally fulfilled with you. They're very passionate and hot and fiery about you, okay? I'm hearing they want to devour. They think, they, they think, okay, you could be a psychic with the high priestess. They think that shit is sexy. It turns them on. Like, what? That you know the unknown secrets. And they want to invest in you, honey. Uh, maybe they can feel like you guys could be business partners together. Because empress and empresses, you know, business partners and lovers. And so you guys can have it all together. But it seems like you're guarded with your emotions. Queen of uh, Cups energy. And you're like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to move forward. Like, it's the, this what this energy shows you in the beginning, because I feel like you did try to take a leap of faith with this person, but they didn't use their intuition and meet you. Ha I'm here in Kenyan. Meet me halfway, right at the borderline of where I'm going to wait mm, for you. They thought you was going to wait for them, and they wanted you to chase them. And that's what not empresses do. They don't chase, baby. You got to go get your empress. And that's why this man is under judgment on the Ten of the Wands energy. So how does Gemini feel about the Emperor spirit? How does Gemini feel about this Emperor? This king of the... Ooh, dang, Gemini, is that how you feel? Gemini. I ain't lying. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You, they know you passionate about them, or you know they passionate about you, but I ask how does Gemini feel. So there could be Gemini... Uh, Somebody feel passionate about you or you know how they feel about you or vice versa. Okay, so you, there's there's passion here. There's a lot of passion. Okay, but maybe this person had you in competition or you look at them as a hoe because they had you in some type of competition. So now that you see them, they were doing work and magic on you. Yeah, Queen of Wands, look, to, to, to force you in. I said force because they're not doing this. They're trying to energy manipulate you into a relationship, or they went to a high pre they went to a high priestess to emotionally or energy or, or whatever manipulate the, the situation. But see, you're too strong because the wing quit wean. Because <laughs> the Queen of Wands is confident. Okay? So maybe you know magic too, okay? But so what's the what's the obstacle spirit of this emperor trying? What the hell is this? What's what's the obstacle? Oh. Hold on, y'all. These cards always be trying to fall. Lord. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Like, She's smoking them up. Okay, so the obstacle is that you make your... They're worried about an equal give and take, or they're studying you. They want to give to you, or they want an equal give and take, or they're trying to study to see if you're an equal give and take, but the obstacle is that they had you in a third-party situation, or you see that... They had you in a third-party situation because you saw something online, possibly. They posted something, and you called justice on it. You saw them working, possibly, with a third-party energy. I don't know how this is going, but that's the obstacle. So you're looking at them like a little... You have a little Knight of Wands energy, that one that's really passionate about everybody, possibly. But this Knight of Wands don't want you, this Emperor don't want you to look at him like that or her like that. They want to come bring balance to you, okay? They see you as a temperance angel. They really do. And they want to rebirth with you. So what is this Emperor's intentions, though? Aww. He's a movement by himself. But you are forced when you're together. 
Maybe he's good all by himself, but maybe you, you make him better. Oh, I like that. That's why he doing work, bitch. You can't be doing work. You need to approach the empress with some communication. That's what I'm feeling. Or the, or, the end result is the sun. So that's happy. Okay? He's re, he, it's revealed to this man that you're his empress. High priestess energy. And especially you know shit. Okay? He like, damn, that shit turned him on. He like, that's my wish fulfillment. That's my counterpart. Because I feel like this man, like I said, he does esoterical shit too. He plays in the, in the in, I don't know which side, honey. What side does this man play on, Holy Spirit? Because <laughs> we need the right side. For some of you, he works for him downstairs. And I don't, mm, honey. Ooh, he worked for him downstairs. <gasps> What's like that, Spirit? Yeah, he works for him downstairs. Lord have mercy. You got to work for him downstairs. Why not him downstairs? He works for death, okay? And you work for rebirth. So, so you're this is like angels and demons. You done hooked up with some type of demon energy. Oh my god, you didn't know that. This man looks good too. I'm telling you, I don't see the king of wands, but the emperor look good, okay? Emperor number one, the one with the job. And the, possibly the second emperor look good too. But this emperor now, he's single and he's ready to mingle, and you're blocking him from coming and making this offer to you. So he's watching the sea. When is the right time to come make this offer towards you, okay? For this new beginning, this King of Pentacles, okay? So how does Gemini, how is this supposed to end in yet? It's going to bring balance, whatever this is. I did say this was a twin flame. This is everybody's twin flame? Absolutely not, because everybody ain't a twin flame. But you do have a twin flame and then a karmic twin flame. We're not picking up the karmic twin flame right now, even though him in here and sad and broke and child his energy is ill and then the king of pentacles energy you guys both had a learn a lesson i'm picking up yours is self-love because you stepped into this empress because this man wanted you to chase him or her because they thought they was too hot to try they had everybody always chasing them low key high key low but now what energy are they in right now are they in this in this holistic energy still spirit because gemini no, they think about certain things now before they take that action. They're being cold and detached, and their heart is guarded and closed because all they see is you. What's that song by Miguel? All I want is you. All this man wants is you. He wants to make you his queen and balance things out, okay? He's fucking rejecting offers left and right, put him in, putting them out in the cold and everything. The bitches be like, oh, my God, are you really not... They feel a backstab and betray. So there's people in this man's energy that he's cutting off for you or her. Okay, they're single right now. Okay, you possibly don't know that. They're keeping, they're probably hiding from people. Okay, because they want to give you this offer. Yeah, they do. They slowing things down with that. Yeah, they're they not working with nobody else, y'all. All that shit. Mm -mm. And people are angry. Like, what? You going to cut me off for her? Absolutely, it could be an interracial couple because the king of you see the king and the queen of pentacles. He little light skinned it, you know, little some some and she afro, you know, got them afro features. So it could be some type of conflict or chaos. It could be a difference of relig because the uh I did see the hierophant. So it could be like they have a difference of religion or background, or one could be spiritual, one could be or both of y'all could be spiritual, but just like I said, he's from him downstairs, and you're the earth angel. But for some reason, and I, I feel weird saying this, but Spirit said it's true. It's a good balance. It's a good blend. Like, he's too dark, and maybe, I don't know what, how it goes, but y'all balance out each other very well, okay? Ooh, and his intentions are good, and he is going through some type of spiritual transformation or ending unbeknownst to you. Making changes in his or her life to be with you. Because they see now that you make this person happy and they want to make, they want to give you the world. I hear share my world. Don't you leave. Oh my gosh. Queen of Pentacles, share my world. They ain't holding on to you. They is not letting you go, Afro girl. Okay, or Afro boy or whoever you are. You could even be Mediterranean. You could be Lebanese. You could have Armenian. You're like... You're, you have melon in your skin, whoever you are, and this other person is lighter. Or you could be the opposite. Look, because there's a black man right here and then a Caucasian lady right there with the empress. But whoever you are, they can't let you go. They're holding on to you. They want you to join worlds and forces together 
And that's that because you're going to balance them out. See him down. Well, see how it's like the, the opposite side. Like you balance this person out, period. And that's what they want. So they've decided and they can't get they can't get you out of their they they like you too sexy for them. Ooh, child, this person's obsessed with you, Gemini. What the fuck? Okay, be careful. Is that what child this man and um is should they be worried? Anything they need to be worried about spirit? Because this man, I mean, spirit said that's the truth. <laughs> What's the truth? What's the shit? This man might, honey, let me tell you. He might just be a little too obsessive with you. He may not want you to go anywhere or he's going to be attached at the hip with you or he's going to child just be trying to have sex with you like all the time and not wanting you to go. Like the, I, I feel like it's not healthy to a certain extent. I mean, to each of their own. Some of y'all think that shit is cute. It's cute in the beginning. Yes, it is until you really want to live your life. And then you're like, bitch, you don't have to go to fucking Ralph's with me, you know, all the fucking time, you know, or just because you might want to wear your little short dress or skirts or whatever, your little booty shorts and stuff, honey, they not want to want nobody to be even looking your way because this man possibly has been doing some things with the Jezebel energy. Oh yeah, he went, he, he's, he's gone through a Jezebel energy and he's not trying to lose you. But the thing is he needs to have more confidence though. You know what I mean? Because the empress is confident. That's why you're not chasing this person. This person wanted you to chase them. And that's not what empresses do. So now, yeah, they're kind of in regret a little bit. But they're going to take action towards you, though. Because they're in regret. They didn't take your offer or something. Something, a tower went down after you. Something, honey. They should, Oh, they could. Okay, well, were they supposed to travel towards you, Gemini? But they were in hangman position because they were in their head about a ten of cup situation like if it was the real deal or not yeah but it was actually the ten of pentacles so he come to claim his motherfucking empress or emperor or however this goes but gemini that's been your reading i like this reading this is pretty good all right so gemini i love you so much i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i'll talk to y'all soon bye